welcome back to Nat 20. Uh, in the previous episode, uh, our little party of adventurers uh, got their talked to Kevin and Philippe in the wish department, a little altercation, and they went down to the forest to talk to the talking reindeers, where uh, they encountered a pack of wolves and they use their limited weapons to kill them. Now that the reindeer are safe, we now turn to the adventures and what they're doing next. So, what are you guys going to do? The wolves are dead on the ground, all the reindeer are safe. I'm currently taking those wolves and they're going straight into the barn. <laughs> nice good food for the reindeer. Yeah. Well, Comet, he's going to come out and... He's going to make a comment. <laughs> he's going to come out and thank you guys <laughs> and make a comment on... Uh, I hate this. <laughs> the, the last handler managed to uh, tell Comet about his uh, code in order to get a, a level 4 access card. Oof. And uh, seeing as you guys just saved his life, he will tell you this code, which I don't have a code, so it's really <laughs> just whatever you guys want. Cool. Applebee's gingerbread. <laughs> wherever you want, you guys want your safe word to be. <laughs> Applebee's. <laughs> Still a gingerbread. Girth. <laughs> girth. <laughs> it's a very girthy word. Do we see anything else in the barn or stable? Um... Not really. The barn is just filled with hay and uh, the remnants of wolves. Is there a pitchfork? There is a pitchfork. Ooh, there's a pitchfork. Oh, is it? I need it. I want to joust with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, how big is a pitchfork? Like, is it like for a half flame? Like yeah. a tiny little... Yeah. It, it'd be kind of like the broom that uh, Jingles has. Okay. Or had. <laughs> uh, Jingles slash Clayton isn't with us today. <laughs> he passed he's on. No, he's no longer with us. <laughs> he, uh, he signed a blood contract and now he's no longer there. He just poof and disappeared at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so now we only have our four adventures. We're next. I can't wait to poof. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to land. Um, I'll uh, I'll grab the pitchfork and I'll come up and I'll be like, guys, I found a a pitchfork in there with the hay. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Well, ain't there some? <laughs> well, I. I guess I'll just hold on to it, and I'll just, like, throw it on my back. Okay. Um, what damage does it do? It's 1d6 piercing, or 1d8, 1d2 damage. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> you, you take your fish fork, and you head out of the forest, unless you guys wanted to search around the forest. No, I'm no, getting out of this. I'm nah. almost dead, so I'd rather. Oh, yeah. Happily, even. Let's, let's have a short rest. I'd be yeah. mad. Yeah, I'd be down for a short rest. Okay, well, as you guys head down <laughs> back to the bears, Molly, Molly is following you. She does tell you where the upgrade center is to uh, get your level 4 access card. And then she'll follow you towards the north building of the barracks. Mm -hmm. You guys will go rest. Have a little short rest, uh, regain your hit, hit points and everything, regain your crafting slots, and uh, when you guys come back out, you can't seem to find Molly anywhere. Okay. You look all around the north building, you can't get into the wish department yet, you look around the storehouse, you can't find her. She just up and disappeared just like uh, Jingles. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> um, let's... Sorry, how much is it for a short rest? Just whatever your hit dice. You roll your hit dice. Yeah. Which is a d8. Oh, okay. No, I didn't roll d8s. Roll so. all your d8s. Nice, I'm at points. 
I freaking overhealed, bro. I'm at 62 again, so it's good. Back in my maximum. I still only have 24. Maximum <laughs> power. Is there a razor? I'm only at 59. <sighs> Weak, bro. <laughs> we, we can make it 69. Whoa! Dude, I didn't even think of that. Can you help me? <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Alright. <laughs> Sound alright. It'd so, be like that. So, uh, Molly's gone and, uh, Jerry. Jerry? No, uh, Jingle is gone. Uh, and Jerry, you something about this? You know, all I can think is, like, who's next? You know? Like, if they're already gone, is there a specific order in hand that we're gonna be disappearing in? Because if so, I'd vote, you know, this old guy go next. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to die, anyways, probably. <laughs> Maybe uh maybe uh those two guys who we met earlier in the first shop will go next. I hope that'll be fine. Next, actually, sorry about that, Bob. And I wonder when we're gonna actually start our job. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. We just seem to be beating the crap out of things. <laughs> we've just been going on the tour and we've killed a few animals and things. I don't even know what our job really is. Yeah, well, Molly didn't really explain anything. She just up and disappeared. God damn it, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> same same with Jingles the janitor. How weird. Right, so what's our plan of action then? Oh, so it seems like one of us should be a supervisor. <laughs> How about me? Being as I was already a previous enforcer <laughs> for Santa, I do have the qualifications. <laughs> um, I... <laughs> I don't really care because I know it doesn't mean anything since you actually are. <laughs> like, <laughs> um... Like, you're actually not becoming a supervisor rank, so I'm just like, all right, I, I, you can be our uh, supervisor if you would like. Sounds good to me. I never wanted a management job, so go ahead. Oh, this is a truly a dream come true. And then you'll definitely be the next one to go. <laughs> what? All right, maybe I don't want to be a supervisor anymore. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should go by age. Who's the oldest? <laughs> <laughs> he should be the supervisor. I think it's definitely Bob. Bob, looks like you've just been promoted to supervisor. And as supervisor, I have power to do that. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. All right. All right. I can't remember my voice. Let's just go get our access cards. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like you driving over a bunch of bumps. Yeah. Was like, let's go. I think I had to go to the bathroom. There it is. I Probably number like, two. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's go get our access cards. I agree with our supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go get them. Yeah, let's go. Okay. okay. So, where is it? Uh, are you going to... Uh, you have to upgrade them at the upgrade center. Mm -hmm. Uh, you guys just want to go straight there, or yes, yeah, yeah. might as well. There's yeah. nothing else to do. We could craft some more. I don't we have our crafting slots so. back. Oh, no, I do we? Yeah, because uh, we rested. Making that twisty knife. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, also man. did the uh, search the storeroom, the storehouse. Fully. The storehouse is the one with the sleigh, right here. Yeah. Oh, okay, I tried. Do we care though? There's a bunch of junk in there. Let's go check it out. I mean, we we can also all I have is a fucking exacto knife and a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> that's every, that's pretty much every old person nowadays, dude. Actually, I guess I have like an RC horse too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Barnabas will head to the storehouse. Yeah, sure. I'll go there too. No, I only need. <laughs> um. Well, we're, are we gonna go up? Upgrade first, or well, which, I'm, which going, is to, I'm going to the store. Oh, upgrade. <laughs> well, let's, let's let's get our um, let's sick. get supplies first and then upgrade. It's a sick robots <laughs> reference. <laughs> um, is yeah, is the is that I forget what it's called already, but that one room is that closer than the upgrade room? Yeah, all right, then let's go there first. <laughs> let's go check it out. Cool. So, you guys pass by the well on the way there and into the storeroom. Pretty much just how he left it, slay in the middle. Uh, you guys got uh, tools to the left and to the right, and then top right corner is a bunch of sporting goods, and top left is a bunch of presents that are in. Some seem to actually most seem to be in disrepair, but you guys think you can salvage some. 
I will yeah, I'll check out a present. I'll check out a present as well. Yeah, sure. Okay. So the first present you pick up seems to be pretty good in good repair. Uh, I'll roll a d20 to see what you get. It's a six. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> you find a pack of golf balls. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What about mine? What about my present? Oh, you two D20s. Ten and ten. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> that makes twenty. You found two hockey masks. Um, I guess I'll oh. open my present. Hell yeah. I got a twenty. Not twenty! You find a toque. Nice. Dude. Dude. Take one of his plus one AC. Nice. Oh, wow. I throw you're, it on my head. You're the one who needs to the least. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm like, the two hockey masks are 12 plus dex, AC. So nice. essentially plus two. Mm-hmm. Well, because it's like naturally 10, so if it's 12 plus dex, it's like the same as like saying it's plus two, is it not? I will open another present. It <laughs> well, depends on the dex. Yeah, I'm going to open one too. I've got a two. It's going to be older. <laughs> nice. You are a pretty smelly old man. <laughs> it's, it's a spray kind. It's oh, nice okay. Thing. I was going to say I'd take a bite out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you won't do that. You can still spray in your mouth. Yeah. No. Mm. Is, there any, is there still more presents? No, I need a lighter. Yeah, I definitely want to open another present if there's another present. Actually, we're supposed to be, like, packing <laughs> the presents. Like, we're just making more work for ourselves, technically. So they want us to, like, make all these presents for tonight. Well, we can only craft two things each. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously we're not going to be able to craft presents for everybody. Yeah, they should have gave us more craft slots. <laughs> yeah, how come we only get two? We're just working. Because there's supposed to be a lot more people working here. Two of them disappeared. Yeah, it's a big old facility. Wow! Uh, there's 15 presents there. Oh, good. Okay, then I'm opening another one. Yeah, I'll open another one too. I'll open another one too. I, open another I got seven out of three. You got a seven too. Got a so twelve. You find a handful of gold coins and a chessboard. Yes. I can make checkers. What'd you get, Gabe? Twelve. Twelve. You found a uh, a battery operated <laughs> toy doll. <Ooh. laughs> With no batteries. <laughs> I got a seven. Stole his battery. Yeah, it's you got a handful of gold coins. Cool. Cool. I got an eight. You got an eight. Yeah. You find a lighter. Oh. Can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I have to spray on deodorant. Don't <laughs> you can make a flame so yeah. Well, give me the deodorant. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will. Oh, no, wait, I will open another present. <laughs> I got a, a one and an eleven. You find a tricycle. And, uh, battery. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) You guys have three of the items needed to craft one of the special, uh, Easter eggs. It involves a tricycle. It's not an actual Easter egg. Get it? Can I open one more? Alright. Let's open all the presents. Yeah, Yeah, I'm gonna open (laughs) another one. Two. You get spray on your order. Sweet. I got uh, 18. 18. You remember. Oh, yeah. Never mind. You got hot glue. Oh. <laughs> uh, I got eight again. <laughs> you get another lighter. Sick. Oh, man. Can I have one now, please? There's two flamethrowers. I'm going to open another present, and that's an 18 and a 14. Hot glue and uh, carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Are they mixed together, or is it just... <laughs> no, they're just both in the same... Uh, <laughs> I don't know who it is for, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna open another one. Yeah, same. I don't know how many there are left. Six. I think you guys get like one more round. Cool. Okay. Oh my god. I got an eight again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Third lighter. You're just collecting lighters. Got a five. Wow. Got a five. I'm on fire. You get a leaf floor. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I got a sick. But the leaf floor is the most one of the most powerful uh, things here. You got a six. Yeah, it's crazy. You get a pack of golf balls. I get the most useless shit. If they give those to me, I can like make a gun. 
Um, I, do have, I do have some golf balls already, though. Yeah, I yeah. guess if we get one more, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get my last one. one. Oh, come on. 19. 19. Yeah. You got another RC car. Nice. nice. I got five. You got a leap bar. Yes. Got an 18. That's lighter, right? 18 no, is hot glue. Oh, hot glue? Yeah. Okay. Can I have one of your lighters, please? Oh, uh, but they're... I have, you have three of them. <laughs> if I combine two of them... Well, I, you can do that and give me the third one. <laughs> Use your leaf blower and your... And the, gu- <laughs> the leaf blower and the deodorant and the lighter <laughs> and make a giant flamethrower. Please. <laughs> it's only if you'll give up a lighter. I will give you a handful of gold coins and some golf balls. You get one more. Oh, bad boy. Dude, easy money. A 16 and a 19. 19 is another RC car. <laughs> yes. 16 is a yo-yo. Oh. oh. Now, what kind of damage can I do to yo-yo? <laughs> uh, Make some nunchucks. <laughs> Damn. Um, maybe we should uh, craft some things together. Get some cool uh, toys, <laughs> and we're gonna give to the kids. <laughs> Are you gonna give me a lighter? Uh, ask me an old man voice. <laughs> Can I have one of those lighters, Sonny? Mm. <laughs> I, I I looked down at my hands and through all three of the lighters, <laughs> and just stare at them for like a few seconds, and like. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess I can part with one of these bad boys. Now, I guess I'll give you a letter. Oh, yes. Thanks, friend. I'm gonna pickpocket you and take the other two, too. Well, I'll be pissed. You'll never know. You're a fucking old <laughs> feeble man. I have plus seven sleight of hand. <laughs> How? I'm fucking dexterous. <laughs> old man, that's super dexterous. <laughs> Quick fingers. Should I craft my lawnmower? I mean, my uh, so leaf blower and golf balls. Some negative R3. Because crafting with three things makes it better than crafting with two. Okay, uh, I'll try the spray on deodorant. <laughs> and the what? Spray on deodorant, the leaf blower, and golf balls. Okay, okay. So, uh, with that, you'll make. Um... If you throw a lighter in there, you can make flaming golf balls. <laughs> oh, yeah, and you also have to make a plus one as well. Uh,. It's like a super launcher. It has a range of 80 slash 120. It's two-handed, deals uh, 1d10 bludgeoning. Holy shit. Okay, sweet. Infinite ammo for the sake of not keeping track. (laughs) I wish I had better, something better to combine my lighter with. I can combine my RC car. I have an RC card too. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, the fucking spider taser. <laughs> That's the oh, one yeah. I've got. That's the one okay. I gave him, yeah. He's rocking that one right okay. now. I'm gonna search the rest of the storeroom. Okay. Uh, roll either a perception or an insight for me. Natural 20, baby. As you're looking through a lot of the tools, uh, surprisingly, <clears throat> almost right next to where you found the exacto knife. This is a fucking badass looking edge trimmer. Yes. Dude. Sick. I'm gonna go shopping in the sports section. <laughs> okay, you go to the sports section. There, it's it's just filled with anything you could hope for. Really? Oh, I have my bat too. I wonder what I could combine with that. Maybe you get, maybe you'll get a, a a basketball. What specifically you find sitting there? A hockey stick, golf club, uh, another hockey mask, some hockey pants, and a football helmet. I take ooh, I take a hockey mask and a football helmet. Okay. And then I'm going to a crafting table. And I'm going to put... Oh, I can only do three items, right? You can do two. Okay, the tank group can do three. Goddamn, I can do two. Okay, that's a shame. But I have a football helmet. Be the tinkerer? Yeah. A football helmet gives you 14 AC plus your dex. Holy shit. Well, you need 14 strength, so put it on now. 
Oh, I definitely have that easily. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my football helmet and I'm gonna take a uh, one of my um, handfuls of gold coins. I'm gonna bang them together. <laughs> gold plated football helmet. Yeah, damn it. So let's see if Dex and the strength mod. My strength mod is plus three. My Dex is plus one. Yeah, fuck it, shit. Uh, <laughs> It is now 14 plus your strength one. Wow. Damn, what are you at now? 17. You go beat the ball on it. Fuck yeah. I'm at 19 with the Duke. <laughs> you, you got a T, you got a winter jacket, and you got some nice dirty love. I'm boots. like, I'm like, what are like, like, those kids out on the playground? Oh yeah. <laughs> They're like well suited. So I'm going to take my short sword and more metal to the crafting table, and I'm gonna combine that together and see what I get. Uh, there's, <laughs> I wanted to put bleeding, but there is no bleeding. Uh, yeah, you'll make a tri dagger or a tri bladed short sword. Yes. 1d8 with an extra 1d4 poison. 1d8 plus 1d4. Yeah. Cool. And that does uh, piercing damage. Alright, sweet. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. Because, like, uh, I've definitely smithed some weapons in my day, and this, I'm pretty proud of it. Guys, check out this cool new blade I made. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Hedge Trimmer is a special two handed weapon. Mm. Uh, it does 1d10 slashing. And it's just like the lawnmower, it does continue. Dude, do you want my lawnmower? Because <laughs> you could combine those. Probably. Hmm. Oh, what would that? Why don't you combine your uh, edge trimmer with your Geodra Denlighter? But that's three items. I could craft her for you. Mm hmm. You could. Yeah, what the fuck do it, man. Okay, Alright, sure. hell yeah. <laughs> 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 you fucking just gave that one to us. <laughs> yo, yeah. well, I mean, yo, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah, I was, I was expecting you guys to be a little bit more creative. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna craft another thing. So, uh, yeah, that little thing gives you a shish kebab, <laughs> which pops it to one d twelve slashing. And, which is still continuous, and it also deals an extra one d six fire. Well, <laughs> fuck yeah! And when consumed, it gives you one d four health. <laughs> Should I combine the super launcher and the uh, <laughs> taser car? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you could. Well, I personally can't, but. Wanna be a kid. Oh, that's true. That would just put the super launcher on the RC car. <laughs> <laughs> so the both tase and launch. <laughs> oh my god. You could drive it up to someone and tase them, or you could sit back and use it like an artillery car. And... <laughs> <laughs> my god. The ability that thing would have. <laughs> Plus, if it's sticky tires, you can like, throw it up. We've <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> gone blind with power. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I can do it for you. Because I haven't crafted sure. anything yet. Yeah. So That'd I'll, be awesome. I'll do that. Yeah, so really, you just have your spider taser, but now it has the super launcher on it. Mm. Okay, sweet. Um, um, what would what would happen, per se, if I combined my tried bladed short sword with uh, my, my last lighter? Just theoretical. Talking purely. It would probably... Deal an extra 1d4 fire. Oh, another 1d4 poison? It would probably change the poison to fire. Hmm. Make your choice. Um, I'm gonna take my baseball bat. I'm gonna combine <laughs> it go. with uh, with a battery. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that turns it into a, a 1d12 bludgeoning. Oh, shit. Well, no, it would stay 1d10, but it would do an actual 1d4 shot. Yeah. 
Bombadil sees what he's making and his mouth just drops open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna like wave it around in the air like a little like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh I wanna combine the I think uh, should I combine the lighter with the RC car or the pitchfork? Yo. I think the pitchfork. <laughs> yeah, we already have a pretty OP RC car. <laughs> <laughs> I do the pitchfork. All right, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the pitchfork on the car. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put them both on the table and craft them. Uh, so you, now you have an RC car pitchfork on top. <laughs> yes, we have like a, we're party of four right now, but we're actually like a party of six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's literally just an RC car with a speed of forty that you can use as a bonus action to attack with the pitchfork. It also, which you can't use with two hands, so it would do one d six. Also, it. since I double crafted the. Taser, would that be a plus two now? Yeah, yeah because I've, I've crafted on my, my Or actually, shit. no, you crafted it for me. So, oh, yeah. yeah. But your thing would be a plus one. Yeah, it's a plus one shish kebab. Does that count as a bladed weapon? So it's... <laughs> do I get plus two then? Fuck yes. <laughs> yeah, if... So, like, since uh, I'm, like, the improved inventor, so it's plus one when I craft with it, but if I craft more than once, does it keep... It, no, it doesn't stack. It just makes whatever. Oh. But it was already plus one. It's not going to be a plus two. It just makes everything in crap a plus one. Fair enough. All right, now I'm going I'll to take it. We take a short rest. <laughs> Let our crafting slots come on. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just keep grinding. You know, keep the grind. Not even for the kids. We <laughs> give up on the kids. <laughs> <laughs> we open all their gifts. Yeah. And made wacky things with them. <laughs> um, well, I'm satisfied. Should we go to the upgrade center? Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I still have one crafting slot, though. So I'm gonna... You can also upgrade any of your armor. Oh. So I was thinking of doing that. I wanted my bat to be OP. <laughs> so if you ever just craft your armor with a random piece of metal, it's plus one AC. If you craft it with... Do whatever you want, then I'll think of something. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Damn, I should have done. Just do the two most oddball things you could possibly put together. <laughs> put your boots and your jacket together. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, I want to, <laughs> can I craft my boots with my leaf blower? <laughs> oh my god. What did you have in mind? I want to fly. <laughs> 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 or my jacket and my leaf blower make a jetpack. Is a old man jetpack? Yes. 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 <laughs> Why would you want a jetpack when you have an RC horse? Though? Oh, that's true. Put it on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Make the horse fly. Horse fly. I get it. <laughs> so your jetpack would give you a flying speed of ten. Because it's literally a leap yeah. yeah. I'm sorely tempted. But also, I have the rocking horse. What if I just do the leaf blower and the rocking horse? Well, I mean, the rocking horse is connected to the RC car. It's the RC mm. horse right now. Right, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I meant, the RC horse. Alright, I'm going to take a short rest. It would make your RC horse have a flying speed of thing. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Flying RC horse. Yeah, I was gonna be an old man flying around <laughs> on a horse. Whee! <laughs> it's gonna fly. Not up. only can he stab from the sides now, but he can come out from above. Yes. Crush okay, I'm gonna attack already. from every angle. Jesus. Okay. That means done with the crafting. Yeah, yeah, let's go upgrade. Yeah. I'm ready to sleep again. <laughs> so, on the way to the upgrade center, uh, to the left, you can see the giant landing strip coming out of the storehouse where Santa would have taken off with his sleigh. Uh, just across from the landing strip was the big man's house. And a little bit farther, a little bit in the distance, you can see this massive pine tree that's completely decorated. It's got presents around it. 
and it has this massive sign right in front of it that says King Jack. King Jack? Yes. Jack King. And so you guys are going to head your way to the upgrade house? Yeah. 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 Maybe it's Jack like Jack Frost. So? No, no, no. Maybe it's Jack like Jack Skellington. <laughs> it's Jack like Dude, Jack Frost. This campaign takes place in the <laughs> Nightmare Before uh, Christmas uh, cinematic universe. Tim Burton's canon. Confirm, please. You guys make your way into the upgrade center. <laughs> okay. How's he got a um, smile on his face? It's used to get a higher access level in order to enter more places. Uh, just like everywhere else, doesn't appear to be anyone working here anymore. Uh, you got a couple workbenches in here. And right in front of you is a, uh, a desk with the same weird compression contraption that was in processing. And right next to that is a screen that is asking for a password. Uh, right behind that desk is a bunch of filing cabinets. And uh, on top of the fi filing cabinets is a, uh, a picture of that tree that you saw, guys saw outside. Is it decorated in the picture? Yes. That's, exactly wait, that. sorry. That, that's, is that Clayton's phone? Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, I think it might be. Uh, that's why. <laughs> How did we not notice down. that? Yeah. Oh my god. So. Well, it's none of ours. I hate him. <laughs> oh my god. That's probably why he hasn't been responding. Yeah, yeah that makes okay, sense. Uh, I'll go immediately to the thing to put my arm in. You put your arm in, but and nothing happens. I okay. speak the password. And what's the password? Chris Kringle clan. It's gingerbread. No. Uh, <laughs> the screen needs an actual password to enter it. Yeah. And then the uh, you have a code in order to oh, grant okay. you the level four access. Okay, so we don't know the password. You don't know the password. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to go to the tree. I'm going to yeah. go investigate the tree. I'm uh you head outside, pass in front of the big man's house on, on the way to the tree. I'm going to go and just by luck... I'm going to type in a password and hope it works. I'm going to type in password. Yeah, type in password and it does not work. Okay, I'm going to try something random. What do you put in? <laughs> Just something random, like a... Because I have an actual password that I... King <laughs> Jack. King Jack does not work. Uh... Naughty children. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to search the area and see if we can find any clues. You kind of search the area, and uh, apart from what uh, you had already seen, the only thing that stands out are two little pneumatic tubes kind of tucked away in one of the corners. Okay. They seem to be kind of very dusty, and there's a little note attached to the wall right next to it saying, uh, uh, if you send up the proper paperwork, we'll get back to you with a code in 8 to 10 weeks. Wow, okay. Well, we know the code already. We yeah. just need the password. Uh, I put in, um, see you on the other side. For the password? Yes. No. Damn. <laughs> Should I look at the bookcases to see if I can find any notes or anything it's, like that? It's all filing cabinets, and you'll open them up, and inside is just a whole bunch of uh, papers regarding permission forms for certain access levels, so like level 2, level 3, level 4, level oh, okay. 5. Ah, this password is uh, quite hard to hack. Okay, so you're on your way to King Jack, Barnabas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you just, you just yeah, I left to go her. inspect the tree. To go investigate. Right in front oh, of but it. the tree, not, not him. Because you said you're on your way to go see King Jack. King Jack is the tree. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. <laughs> That Stay off your mistake. phone. I'm no, I... <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm just... All right. so, run. You, you go towards the tree, yeah. and uh, engraved on the actual bark, you see um, SC and uh, KC in a little heart. SC, KC in a little heart. Okay. <sighs> 
Santa Claus and um, Christy Claus. No, it's that. Uh, did it? It's that uh, evil. Uh, I'm going anti Santa Claus. What is that called? Krampus. Krampus Claus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's Krampus. Mrs. Claus. It's yeah. yeah it's Krampus. Krampus. Not Krampus. It's supposed to be Mrs. Claus uh, for his name. I don't yeah. know where actual. Yeah, no, it's fine. I understand. Uh, okay. I will investigate the the tree. Um, you kind of take a look around the tree, and on the back of the giant sign that says King Jack, you read a little description talking about the history of this tree, and how uh, this tree was planted in commemoration of Jack Frost, who was um, Santa Claus's best friend, who tragically passed away to frostbite. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will head back to uh, the upgrade center. All yeah. right. Um, did I try King Frost already? You tried King Jack. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's right. What did I say? King Frost. Goddamn. Santa Claus. Put in Santa Claus. Santa Claus does not work. <laughs> Mrs. Claus. That does not work either. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Can I look at the painting? You didn't say no. It's a no. Okay. It's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me, dog. The painting really uh, just looks like the exact replica of King Jack that you see outside. Okay, I take it off the wall. You take it off the wall, and now we have a painting of King Jack. <laughs> Combine it with the car. <laughs> moving artwork. <laughs> Is it worth ten thousand dollars more? <laughs> can we like? Can I look around the room just find, try to find if there's any secret compartments or Wait, already doors or anything in the upgrade center? Yeah, I'm assuming that you made okay. your way back inside by now. I'm gonna go to the password terminal and type in Jack Frost. Oh, what you what you type it in there? Oh, uh, uh, well, I expected this to see a sign back over by that big old tree, and I think I have a clue to the password. Oh, well, what you going to throw in? Well, you'll find out. <laughs> what you, but I'm already at the, the computer right now. Just tell me what you type. type well, then why don't you just you know, move over, Scooch? <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm busy trying passwords, so just... just uh, all right, well, you know what? Fine, just try Jack Frost. All right, I took Jack Frost. You type in Jack Frost and you're granted access. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it worked. Well, of course it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wanna do you wanna upgrade your uh, little barcode there? Oh yes, please. No. Yeah, so it prompts you for a uh, a code, which you guys put in a level access level four access code, and you guys can now upgrade yourselves. Okay. After you, when you get upgraded, it makes like does it make a noise? It's you feel the same uh, sharp pain as you did before. Does the machine make a noise? Sort of. Not really. After it happens, I'm like, oh, it looks like you were half off. <laughs> proud of that one. <laughs> You're proud of yourself. I'm proud after that one. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna get my access code, and then is there an upstairs to this place? There is not an upstairs. Mm. Also, there... look down on your forearm, you see a little four next to your barcode, and you guys also have two extra crafting slots. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Um, I put in my arm, and I, like I type in the stuff, and I put in my arm and yeah. get my code as well. Um, so we already used two of ours up, and we get two extra. Does that mean the two that we've already used are filled again, or we just got two extra? You just got two extra. I'm going to go to the uh, crafting store. <laughs> There's a workbench in here. Oh, okay, I'm going to go to the workbench in here. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna put my, I mix my solid boots with my hot glue. <laughs> That's spider boots. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know, what, I'll, I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> sure. I don't know how that's gonna so help. Sorry, I'm hot to Got spider boots, man. I can walk up walls now. <laughs> and on the roof, oh man, it's gonna be great. Um, the, amount, the amount of angles I'll get. Can I um? Is there any, like, yarn or anything? He has a yo-yo. I do. 
Got a toy doll that that might have stuff. Hmm? Got a toy doll that might have stuff. No. But there's nothing at the the crafting table? Hmm. No string or yarn or twine. Oh, does anyone have any spell or yarn or anything? No! (laughs) (laughs) Well, I have a... This little uh, spinny thingamadoodle with a wire on it. That is not what that is. <laughs> you in no way described a yo-yo just I now. wouldn't know what a yo-yo is. You see my intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a you got a yo-yo. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I got the yo-yo. I knew that. Alright, cool. Uh, what are you thinking, Tony? I want to upgrade my toque so I get more on the bus. Oh, just throw some metal on it. Really? <laughs> yeah. He's a, a metal plated duke. Alright, uh. <laughs> thank you for your. Actually, uh, if you're not using a yo yo, I would uh, love to, uh, craft with it. Well, well, what are you gonna craft with it? What are you gonna make? Uh, with I, got an, I got another lighter here. I was thinking we can make a flaming yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I don't know what you're gonna. I'm sure there's some poor orphan out there that would love this. Uh, hold on. Yeah, what, what exactly does everybody have for crafting material? Remember, there's those presents of by King Jack. I'm going to go back to King Jack. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> I just remember when I saw some presents over by that tree. Oh, how many presents did you I don't see? know, but I'm going to double check. I can't remember. That rhymed, dude. <laughs> nice. That was sick. It Very felt good. Real, felt truly like a Christmas miracle. <laughs> There's ten sitting up there. All right. Yeah, we can go okay. Okay. Well, that is. Yeah. I wonder if that's two each. Oh, yeah. And we'll actually. All right. We got six and a 13. You get a pack of golf balls <sighs> and a lava coal. Nice. <gasps> I, I got four. You got four. You got a baseball. Nice. I got a three. You got a chessboard. Okay. <laughs> I rolled an 18 and an 8. Hot blue. And another lighter. 17. That's my second one. Anvil. <laughs> Two anvils. A 19 and an 8. RC car and a lighter. You guys keep getting the same fucking <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, What's go. 20? A toque. Change. Okay. Okay, I'll take the two. Yeah, so I don't think you have any headwear right now. So you yeah. have plus one. I'll open one more. <laughs> yeah, and then there's... 11 and 14. Oh, yeah, because you, yeah. you get two. So you should open the next one. Yeah, you open the next one. Battery and carrot. Yeah, carrot times two. <laughs> battery times one. Your eyes just light up <laughs> after you hear the word batteries. All right, I'll open the next two then. Five and a three. Uh, Elite floor. <laughs> Check board. Yeah, what if we combine that leaf blower with this baseball? Hold on now, so we got one more present yeah, to open up. Just four times two. Seventeen and five. An anvil and a leaf <laughs> Damn, this anvil heavy as shit. And he's carrying two of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to question the logistics of it. It's a, it's a magic backpack. Mm-hmm. It's in a magical land. A magical sack. Stop. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go to the crafting table. I'm going to craft my toque with a handful of gold coins. Gold-plated toque, which means you would get, uh, instead of plus one AC, plus your strength mod AC. It's plus one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, Bumper doodle. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, now... You can uh, do some special crafting, right? You oh yeah, I can. Some yeah, yeah. And you got a, you got an extra. You can do that. You got, yeah, I you can. Still got yeah, a little spare. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Now so I need a battery. Uh, it does involve a battery, but I need a back. <laughs> or the only yeah, thing. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Uh, I, I need have... you to combine my tricycle, my battery. Put the battery in the doll. That thing makes sense. Back. That makes sense. <laughs> you don't even need to craft that. Just pop it in. You have two batteries, though, don't you? No, I have one. Oh. I use the other one. All right. Uh, um. <laughs> I'm gonna do my actual original idea. I'm gonna, once you combine my tricycle, uh, yeah, uh, my lighter, and my leaf blower. Okay, I think you can do that. Oh, I can do it. I can do it right now. I do. Right. What's your uh, movement speed right now? Twenty-five feet. Fucking riding a tricycle <laughs> <laughs> with a leaf blower. <laughs> And a lighter with it. 
this, you would have a 30 foot speed tricycle, 10 foot to five speed, that has flaming wheels. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's flying speed with flaming wheels? It has a 10 foot fly speed with flaming wheels. Oh my god. We will rule the skies. Dude, <laughs> we don't need to walk anymore. You're a flying ghost rider on a tricycle. That's oh sick, my dude. god! Uh, also, I don't know what the hell to do to this battery. So I'll, I'll take the battery. Just... I'll take. All right, you know what? You just take that battery. Awesome. Thank you so much. Now I have one leaf blower. You know, since I crafted that for you, do you think you could craft this? Just this uh, toy doll and these batteries. Sure. Why not? Thank you. I'll take those two items and. Slap them together. Okay, so you slap them together and uh, you craft Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> this doll is very, very lovely with its flowing ginger hair and its striped uh, little sweater with hey, the small little coveralls. <laughs> um, you can throw Chucky at an enemy. Its range is 30 slash 80. Uh, they need to su- succeed on a DC 14 deck save to dodge a throw. If they fail, then uh, Chucky is stuck to their face and he does 1d4 damage each turn. Uh, and he imposes disadvantage on literally everything. Dope. Uh, you know, you take this weird ear looking dog. Yeah, oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> you just made Chucky. And yeah, if you miss the throw, then he has a speed of 25 feet and you don't go after whoever you threw it at. Awesome. What the fuck? God. Well, alright. I'm gonna get on my flame and flying tricycle. <laughs> I'm gonna combine um, some of my gold pieces with my toque. Yeah. I tried that. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you get your. Strength mod plus AC. You don't need this, Tony. <laughs> it's fine. What's your armor class, Tony? It's 20. <laughs> um, would do anything if I added the uh, lighter onto my super launcher? Yes, it would. Couldn't do it. You create. Oh, yeah, also your Chucky. Oh, yeah, you didn't craft a Chucky. I crafted a chicken. You craft a plus one grenade launcher. So what's the damage on that? <laughs> Range is 8120. Damage is 1d12 fire in a 10 foot radius. Yo, we don't even need to go inside this house <laughs> yeah. now. We can just fucking destroy it. It's blowing up, grenade. man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to zoom around in the air on my tricycle. <laughs> okay. So you guys have a level 4 access card. You need to get a level 5 in order to uh, enter the big man's house. Let's just go to the place with the weapons and <laughs> get a whiff. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he said if I was a good kid, I, was on, I may have been on the good list. Are there so. any windows in the big house? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I'm gonna crash through a window. No windows in oh, house. Man. It's the North Pole. What do you need windows for? Oh, Could I grenade launcher break through? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Rich people usually have windows. Who says he's rich? He gives all his stuff away. That's true. What do you need? What is it? What do you guys have? What do you guys have for uh, for uh, tools and stuff to combine with? I'll just look down on you as I'm from the skies. Uh, well, I seem to still have a carrot, a couple of hawking masks, uh, a couple of chess boards, an anvil. Ooh, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, and a leaf blower, uh, a pack of golf balls, and a lump of coals. These chess boards are the good kind, too. They're like the sturdy wood, Damn. solid wood uh, boards. Um, I've got hot soup. How high can I exactly go with this tricycle? <laughs> you have a flying speed of 10 feet, which means you can go 10 feet every 6 seconds. How high up can I go? Is it unlimited? I know what you're planning. 
<laughs> yep. Oh no, no. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Physics. Hey. Uh, uh. I'd, I'd say it's limit it to like 100 feet. Uh, that's plenty. <laughs> um, it's higher than the roof. What did you say again that the hockey masks did? Ample. They give you 12 AC plus two decks. Um, I shot up to, uh, I forget your name already, Barnaby. <laughs> what is it? Barnabas. Yeah, Barnabas. Barnabas, uh, uh, could you, uh, need it. could you pass me down the, uh, B4 uh, hockey mask? Uh, why? I have a, I have a pretty good idea what I can do with those. Well, sure, all right, um. I'll just drop the leaf blower and a hockey mask down by him. Do you have another hockey mask? Or are you wearing it? Oh, no, I still have another um, hockey mask. I'm gonna... Can I have it? <laughs> Fuck it, sure. <laughs> um, I'm just not the other one. I'm gonna put on the hockey mask. <clears throat> I'm just too happy. I'm flying around in the flame and I mean, you can either choose your gold-plated duke or your hockey the hockey mask. Yeah, fuck you, Tony. Why? They can per- Head gear, perfectly Tony. fit on my face. Headgear, Tony. Video game logic applies. Hockey mask is in front. Tuke is on top. Tuke is on top of the hockey mask. It works out fine. <laughs> you have 20 AC, Tony. <laughs> I'm just thinking, what if I had 22? <laughs> <laughs> fine, you know what? I will, I, you know what? That's all good. Um, I'm gonna hold on to it still. I wanna combine the leaf blower and the baseball. Yeah, so you get a super launcher. 80 slash 120 range, 1d10 bludgeoning, which you would get plus one. Because it's a bludgeoning one. What is the big house made out of? Walnut. <laughs> Walnut. <laughs> That's pretty solid stuff. Sounds flammable. Well, I guess I always just give it another shot. It's just work. Nice. <laughs> it's not worth pulling. Are they actually icicles or are they just fucking ice methods? I'm going to take... The ho- oh, okay. <laughs> I put the hockey mask on, by the way. Okay. You can't wear it with your toque. I take the toque off. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, yeah. Are you at 20 as well? Nice, dude. Do you have headgear, Gage? No. Someone give him headgear. You want a toque? Yes, I'd love a okay, toque. Okay, toss you my toque. Okay, awesome. So what is that do we get? It's plus your uh, strength. Uh, minus one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a third hockey mask. Because you, you That'll picked, be picked up two, and then there was one in the uh, little corner. That'll only be 12 plus one. Or wait. It's still plus three right now. Hockey mask, yeah, it gives you 12 plus... Okay, and then I have the plus three from the other stuff? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So that's plus two then? Plus three. Or Wait, so it'd, 12, I'd be at... 12 plus your dex. Okay, so 13. 13 and then you're and then plus three, so 16. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take my tricycle to the skies <laughs> above the big house. <laughs> what are you playing here? I'm going to drop in the anvil. <laughs> Over <laughs> the big house. <laughs> we got employed by this guy. Dude, we're I'm starting the ground assault now. <laughs> we don't even know if anything serious is going on. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We, like, we hear all those wacky shit. So. Yeah, you know what? Sure, you guys can break into the big house. I'll, I'll let you guys break into the big house. You're going through the front door. I'm going through the front door? <laughs> yes. Alright. How much momentum can I get with my tricycle? <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm gonna choose the plan of attack. I'm gonna you make a tricycle shaped hole through the front door. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay. Did I actually? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, if you guys didn't break into it, it really would have just been you went to the witch department, Dr. To Kevin, to get the level 5 code, upgraded again. And then went to the big house. So you guys can break in the big house. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> guys, don't. Hey, I found the opening. 
I'm gonna walk through the whole shit. <laughs> <laughs> opening in the door. Okay, so you walk through the tricycle shape opening. <laughs> and, uh, try it. You enter the big man's house. Uh, big C. Right in front of you is this very extravagant fireplace. It's fucking massive. With, like, uh, with red bricks all the way around. And this fireplace actually is connected to a wall that goes kind of all the way around. And um, the fireplace is actually open to both sides. So you can see straight through the fireplace right into the center room where there's this giant mahogany desk. Uh, and the grandfather's clock and a whole bunch of other desks. And a pile of papers sitting on this desk. Um, to the, both to the left and right of you are two paintings of, uh, it's kind of hard to discern exactly what is in the painting. It appears to be like a royal, uh, family member, but he also seemed, his skin seems to be extremely white and like fluffy almost. And, um, yeah, you guys take a look around the rest of the building and there's eight of these paintings, all with different looking uh, royal family members, all wearing kind of slightly different armor. In the center room is a grandfather clock. Uh, you guys also spot a pair of boxing gloves hanging up right behind the desk. And other than that, there's just a pile of K KKK uh, memorabilia. memorabilia. <laughs> uh, contracts on the desk. Oh my god, dude. Which you guys take a look through, and it stands for the Krampus Claws Company. Now, so, oh, right. we might be in a little bit of trouble. Man, that craftsmanship in there, around that fireplace is pretty nice. You and grandfather clock slowly taken away. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Echoes. I'm gonna take those boxing gloves. <laughs> Some Santa Claus fought my case. Pretty good to zero. Yeah. All right. Look. So, supervisor, what, what, what do you think of this? This Krampus Claus situation. I'm sure he means no harm. Isn't Let's that, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that uh, exactly what Krampus does this cause home? Who? He only punishes naughty children. You know, this Krampus guy... Well, actually, I don't know anything about Krampus. <laughs> Sounds kind of like an enforcer. Let's just find him and talk to him. Well, we don't even know where he is. That's why I said find him, you fucking idiot. Krampus! <laughs> I call out. <laughs> I call out. Here, I'll take the disguise and see what I can see. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll go flying out on my tricycle. Okay, so you guys also notice that there's a spiral staircase in one corner leading <laughs> up, and one spiral staircase in the other corner leading down. Okay. Do we get a sense that someone's been in here recently? Uh... Yeah, a little bit. You can see okay. a little bit of a trail of snow leading upstairs. And I said, I'll run up the stairs. Why? You <laughs> run up the stairs. <laughs> I will fly up the stairs. <laughs> okay. Also, the boxing gloves are a two-handed special. You can't do anything when you have the bo boxing gloves that so you can't drag with anything. That's That makes sense, yeah. Uh, can you hold a sword? It's 1d6 bludgeoning with multi attack. Wow. Does that stack on top of mine? No. Okay. <laughs> multi attack, Bro, multi attack. You gotta. You so know, it would be a lot better on somebody else. Would, Bro, would, I would stack love multi those. attack be like multi attack squared or multi attack times two? I think it would just be three attacks. Damn. It's not two attacks for every multi attack you have. <laughs> multi attack for the multi attack. <laughs> Bruh, this should totally stack. Bro. You should Bro. just give those to me. Are those you dex based or strength based? No. Strength. Okay. But I get a plus one for budgeting stuff. And I, mean, I don't have multi attack. And besides, what else can you do? 
Well, I got a tri blade that does one d eight plus one d four poison plus <laughs> do one. Do you know how to use it? <laughs> I do. Because I'm proficient in tri blades. <laughs> I'm proficient. In... <laughs> what kind of background do you have? <laughs> Dude, I'm a smith. I made weapons. I know what a tri blade is. Obviously, you didn't know how to use a sword. Because <laughs> I don't use weapons, I know how to. I'm gonna start flying around the yeah. sky above the whole area and see if I can see anyone or anything. Like outside. Yeah. Apart from the reindeer kind of just grazing out in the forest, don't really see much. Uh, there, from your vantage point in the sky, you can see that pretty much everywhere else except for this little secluded spot is literally just covered in like massive drifts of snow, like twenty feet deep. Um, I guess I'm gonna follow these guys with the steps, but I can't. Um, I'm just gonna walk. I have a logistical question. Yeah. Can we craft living things? We create no. life. Okay. <laughs> I was going to have cats and dogs in the in the presence, but I didn't know what to do with that when yeah, you're wise. That's fair. <laughs> I so. grabbed a cat with a lighter. <laughs> Fire cat. Cat. <laughs> cat. That's a Pokemon. Yeah. Score money. Okay, you guys yeah. can craft some cinema. <laughs> give him the boxing glove. Yeah. Well, I guess he's a wrestler. A flaming cat with boxing gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I give him a mix of super launcher and a dog. <laughs> Create duck hunt. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> duck with a gun. And right, I'll go back into the building. Yeah. And I'll go upstairs. Yeah. You guys all manage to make your way upstairs. Just like the rest of the buildings, it's very lush. All this very sturdy and expensive hardwood floors and walls with gold trim all over the fucking place. Uh, taking up most of the prominent wall as you guys walk up is a giant four poster bed uh like if you guys have seen a california king this is probably maybe twice that mm. it's a fucking massive bed uh right next to it on the right hand side is a christmas tree with a couple presents underneath and <laughs> on the left hand side is a bedside table is it a crafting table <laughs> it's, a, it's a top hat sitting on top of the uh, bedside table Oh, and then in the other corner, you guys see a wardrobe, and um, I'll have you guys do perception checks. Dude, natural 20. Dude, dirty 20. Four. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Everyone except for Barnabas notices a pretty eerie and ominous red glow coming from behind the wardrobe. Because he's changing right now? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's just got some sick LEDs. <laughs> you know, I wonder what could be going on in there. Can I grab the top hat? No! <laughs> you can definitely take the top hat. I wanted the top hat. hat. You slimy little <laughs> bastard. Yeah. Remember that time you looted the body the guy I killed? Oh, and planes went off? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you get... I was a, you well, I was a slimy little goblin. <laughs> <laughs> this is different. So, what do you guys do? Well, I'm not taking the top out, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna take out my grenade launcher and chuck and yell out to you, whoever it is. Santa, we've come to talk! <laughs> I'm just gonna walk up to the wardrobe. Yeah, you hear no response, and you walk up the wardrobe. You gonna open it? Yeah, just full on. I'm not gonna check for traps or anything, just... Okay. Yeah, open you open up the wardrobe, yeah. and inside is a hell of a lot of uh, winter jackets, and uh, a spare uh, Santa suit. I take the Santa suit. And <laughs> you can see that the ominous glow is kind of coming from behind the wardrobe. So it's not like Narnia. No one, all right. I never watched Narnia. <laughs> I didn't either, but the whole joke. You've never seen Narnia? Narnia? Actually, no. I no. I've seen the first oh, one, okay. um, and then maybe parts of the other ones. Yeah, I don't know. The first one's the only one that matters. Yeah, I haven't um, read the anime yet. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna look behind the wardrobe. <laughs> you push the wardrobe aside, and you see a portal very ominous red glowing portal I'm gonna Ooh. chuck a golf ball through it 
Sure. You chuck a golf ball through and it <gasps> goes through the boil and you never see it again. I cool. uh I take the yo yo and I yo yo <laughs> the yo yo through the portal and I yo yo <laughs> Just a test to make sure this doesn't go anywhere okay. weird. Uh how long do you leave the yo yo in the portal? Well uh, I can't do you just go like straight back out or do you kinda of like throw it in there? Well you I mean like realistically it would probably swing down, I guess, right? I don't know how to walk the dog, so <laughs> I'm just gonna yo yo in and then yo yo back out. Okay. Walking the dog is straight down anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. so you do I don't, that. No tricks. You do that and it, yo yo seems fine. Okay. It looks safe, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna stick my arm in. Oh my god, stop. Stick don't do this. Stick your arm in and Let's... you seem fine. You feel. Uh, it's almost as if it's snowing, but it's not cold. I'm gonna stick my head in instead. It's gonna get snapped off. <laughs> you stick the rest of your head in, and you come off the other side. <laughs> oh like it, my it god. sucks me through. No. Oh, okay. You, you just poke your head through okay. to the other Can't side. See. And, uh, you see a very, uh, shut up, Tony. You see, uh, Woodstock from 1989. <laughs> On the other side is the most scape of the world. <laughs> Screams echo through the dark open sky. Bonfires flicker as the only source of light, spreading shadows of slaves being whipped by who you can assume is Santa. Hellhounds growl upon seeing you poke your face through. And, uh, you can also see two giant, uh, kind of, like, raised platforms off to the side. Like, you see Santa way off, uh, on a raised pedestal, whipping all these slaves. And, uh, the slaves are all in workstations, crafting toys under, uh, Santa's whip. And right underneath the so-called Santa is a cell that holds a very big looking human uh, that's very dirty and like, covered in bruises, looking very worse for wear, and you can only assume is also Mrs. Claus trapped in that cell. Okay. I'm going to take my head out and say to these guys, I was just in, I was just in hell. <laughs> And then I relay what I saw. Okay. Sounds so, like my nether. <laughs> what do you guys do? Um, Apparently, I still don't know if the <laughs> portal's there. I didn't see it. You would have seen it now that uh, yeah, he moved know. the wardrobe. What was else? What else was in the room again? There's a big ass bed and a top hat and no, a bedside table. I don't know. Open the bedside table. There are also the presents too. Mm, yeah, and, and there's a whole downstairs. Yeah. Mm. Let's just live here. Downstairs. I just want to kill I'm going to go downstairs. Uh, you make your way downstairs, and <clears throat> down there, you, it appears to be like an, a storage room of sorts. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of bookcases with labeled uh, contracts, and you can see that the only contracts that are still there are your guys's. I'm going to burn mine. Sure. I don't know if it'll do anything, but I'm going to burn it up. You're not going to burn the rest of ours? <laughs> you want me to? What a terrible supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should, if we're all friends. Plus, oh, yeah. and all people are crazy. You also see uh, Kevin and Felipe's contract. Not the KKK contract. Mm. The original contract. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll burn all the KKK contracts, but not the CCC ones. Okay. You burn all those contracts. And then also in the far corner is a uh, a small little caged off room with a bunch of uh, like almost sheets and pillows stuff for uh, the bedroom. And then behind a glass case is a pristine Santa suit with the hat included. I'm gonna put the Santa suit on. Okay. You put the Santa suit on. You'll have to take off your hockey mask and yeah, your windy jacket. Um, put them both on and you feel almost more full and jolly. 
and you actually go inside. <clears throat> oh my god. Did I just become Santa? <laughs> like the Tim Allen movie. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll, you'll actually be... You, you double your size. And height and width. Oh my god. So okay. you're only like four feet though. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm two foot eight. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so you'd be... Five foot six. No. Sixteen. Four. Five foot four. So you'd be five foot four. Big belly. Okay. You literally I was just already pretty fat. Completely filled up this suit. Would we recognize when we this came back? Amazing. Uh, most likely not. Okay. The best day because <laughs> Claire also grew at an alarming rate. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> And that's the end. <laughs> also, you guys are staying in the upstairs room. Yeah. Yep. Uh, as you guys are staring at the portal, and uh, Bob went downstairs. All of a sudden, the portal disappears. Fuck. And you guys are left there in the empty room. I checked the nightstand. Oh. There's nothing in the nightstand. Nothing? I'll check the presents. There's a few gold coins in the nightstand. Oh, I take those gold coins. <laughs> or actually, I used to check the presents because you got two each. Actually, I will yeah. not check the... Pr- no, I will check the presents. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the gold coins. I feel like something's up, and it's not against the law. That- <laughs> I got 11 and 3. So you got some more batteries in another chessboard. <laughs> chessboard times 3. How many gold pieces I also did have I a find? Chessboard. We should do something with these chessboards. Have you... I know. I got know a present with the gold coins? No, I had someone who, like, my background gave me, like, 15 to start, and that's what I used when I okay. made my toque. So I don't know how many I have left, and then... Inside the nightstand, you find five gold coins. Okay, how many did I use in use making my gold toque? I only use one. Just one gold piece? Alright, so I have 19, there we go. For the next prison, I got an 8 and a 12. A lighter, and another doll. Oh my, oh my god. god. We're gonna make another Chucky. <laughs> Just sick him loose. Do we have any crafting left? I don't. No, I don't. I have one. And there's another. Uh, how many presents are there? Wait. We opened two. There's yeah, one. you get more yeah. Santa. Yeah, you I'll get for the crafting. Oh. Rest of the three. Uh, a Twelve and eleven. Another doll and another battery. Hell yeah! <laughs> wow. But <laughs> there's gonna be an army of Chucky going on here. But you don't need um, crafting to put the battery in the doll, do you? Yes. Oh. 10 yeah. and 19. You can put the battery in the doll and you get a a baby doll that cries and swings its arms. Oh, but if you don't craft it, you get yes. it. Yes. Oh, okay. It's the magic of the crafting table. Uh, what do you get? 10 and 19. Hockey mask and another RC car. <laughs> oh my god. That's so much shit. <laughs> so if, if you guys talk to Gavin and get the level 5 security, you guys would have one extra crafting. Oh, screen. that's true. We would have... Ah, but this was quicker. 15 and 16. Um, a corn cob pipe and a yo yo. And a corn cob pipe. We have a carrot and a corn cob <laughs> pipe and a top hat. <laughs> oh my we god. Can make yeah. in the <laughs> oh, sweet. Jesus. And we have coal. We have coal yeah. Oh you can my it. god. You could fight for four it, items. Fight with us. <laughs> yeah, it's four items. It's four items. But we have the three. Well, we. But you can craft. No, yeah. Oh, no, but you don't have any spots. Uh, I'll tell you right now. You can craft them using three items. Uh, you have to use the top hat, and then you can use two other items that Frosty would have. Let's go talk to Kevin. <laughs> Ooh, but we wouldn't have known that. Well, I guess like, we could probably figure it out, but. That yeah, we, well, yeah. but we would have gotten like another one if we would have figured out the fifth level code. But God damn. Do we have any idea why the portal closed? Or could we do an insider investigation check? I mean, only really one thing happened while you guys were uh, looking at the portal. Oh, so just him putting on the suit? It was him doing something. Okay. Sorry, I wanted to <laughs> save our lives. So, uh, what should we do now? Yeah, where are you right now? Oh. Uh, I guess I'll come back up the stairs. 
I freaked the fuck out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh holy hell! <laughs> what are you doing in my <laughs> house? Do you, re- do you recognize him? Roll insight for you guys. Inside reception, whatever you guys want. Natural 20. Uh, 11. <laughs> yeah. I, I have my grenade launcher pointed <laughs> at you. Eight. So, Jerry, you know that this is Bob. You, his, you recognize his facial wrinkles. Um, Bombadil. Bombadil. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you have some doubts, but you've also seen multiple Sansas today. <laughs> this one doesn't smell like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it means I'm real. Yeah, so like, you're not quite sure what to think yeah. of this guy. I'm just pointing my grenade launcher and I'm like, Santa, we need to talk. And I just saw you whipping you slaves. I saw you in hell. Sand. What was up with that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. That wasn't me, you saw. Guys, it was guys, young. this is Bob. Uh, I recognize him. No, <laughs> I don't know why he looks no. like Santa, but that's but that's our friend Bob. No, Bob's short and he's not fat. <laughs> Jerry, right, this is Santa. You're on the nice list, and you'll stay that way. <laughs> Look at that, Shut your mouth. Nice <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, why did you sound like a uh, George Takeshi? Is that Take- yeah. yeah, I don't know. Who this Take- is. Yeah. Uh, the is it Sulu, Sulu from, from yeah the Star, Star Trek, Trek yeah. the original? Oh my! You know, like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh my god! Okay, uh, millennial <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> my grenade screen launcher slowly approaches you more, but with the taser pointed. <laughs> I get in the middle between them, <laughs> and I, I point my flaming wheels at uh, Bombardier. <laughs> Thank you, Barnabas. <laughs> Guys, Put that down, Bob. I just saw you whipping slaves. <laughs> that <laughs> was not me. This you is Bob. This is Bob. No, <laughs> Mr. Snowbear, this is Mr. Claus. All right? You don't see the suit, the fatness, everything. No, I know. Put the weapon down, Bob. He was whipping slaves in hell and, like, he had hell- hellhounds and was, like, fucking torturing Mrs. Claus. Uh, you've been having some funny sleeps, haven't you? <laughs> Alright, put the weapon down or get a face full of fire. Can I have it so that uh, one end of the thing points the taser at Santa and then the other points to the great launcher at him? <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna pull up my bat too. Who's <laughs> cheering? <laughs> you guys are just some fucking at each other's throats. <laughs> Listen, you better open up that portal right now. You better lower your weapon there. <laughs> what happened to the portal? It disappeared. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's Bob. <laughs> I don't know how he turned out to look like Santa, but that is definitely our friend Bob. That ain't fucking Bob. <laughs> it... Snowberry, Bob. I know you want to believe this is Bob, but listen, Bob's probably dead. All right, <laughs> this is Santa. He's much better. <laughs> no, this is definitely Bob. Just tell him. Bob, you knew it dead. I'm sad now. <laughs> I give up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's drunk on power. <laughs> Santa! Santa! Permission to be your enforcer once again. <laughs> of course, Barnabas. Alright, let's just lower the weapon <laughs> <laughs> Um, Bombadil, yeah. my wife has been kidnapped and we must save her. <laughs> as well as all my workers. Bye Christmas bye. needs to be saved. I'm going to check the wall where the portal was and see if it, like, there's I think anything I can figure out. Uh, you can see faint outlines of uh, like etching on yeah. the wall. And you can also see the logo of the KKK around the center. Um, but like, I like touch the wall. It's just like solid. Yeah. Okay. It's just the solid mahogany, and then you can see the etching. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head downstairs. And I'm gonna sneak past these guys. <laughs> Abide by <laughs> Santa's law. <laughs> this ain't Santa. Oh, this is Santa. Santa had kidnapped his wife and made slaves, and there were hellhounds. This is. Not the, a good Santa. What the hell's wrong with you? 
You know what Santa is. Santa's a jolly both I, I was just in hell. Santa doesn't go to hell. <laughs> this one was. I wish I'd close the portal with you inside of it. Slice off his face. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. We've got to figure out how to get that portal back open. I went downstairs. Okay. Jerry, you head downstairs. Nice. I go check out the desk. On the desk, you see just a couple of uh, normal CC contracts. And then you see a stack of KKK contracts. And inside the uh, drawer, inside the drawer, you see a bunch of fancy fountain pens and quills and stuff, writing utensils, uh, liquid paper, uh, hole punches. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. No, it just seems like an actual like notary desk. Is there anything else around here? Oh, I guess there's a downstairs after this, right? That was it downstairs. Yeah. No, isn't there? Isn't oh? Did both those staircases go up, or did one go? No, down? one went down, and that's where I found the suit. Yeah, I went down. To... Oh, oh, pardon me then. Pardon uh, French. <laughs> pardon um, French. is there anything else around like the desk or this area that's like notable or I can check out? Um, as you're kind of checking out the rooms, well, not the rooms. As you're checking out this uh, floor, yeah. You hear the grandfather clock uh, strike its hour. You take a look at it, but it didn't actually strike its hour yet. And shortly after, you can see all of the paintings around the room come to life as these pale uh, humanoid figures step out of the paintings. <sighs> Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna run back to the stairs. Okay, so I'm gonna run up the stairs. So you have to pass by at least one of them to run up the stairs. Uh, How big are they? They're roughly the size of like a five foot five human. As you get closer to one, you can see that it's really. A snowman wearing armor, though. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to get past him. Um, I'll have you roll <coughs> a deck save as this snowman lunges at you, trying to grab you and grapple you. Fifteen. Uh, you manage to escape his grasp. He's pretty slow. He kind of just slowly shuffled forward trying to catch you. Uh, and you managed to run upstairs. Um, I ran up to the room and these guys are arguing. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys! All the, 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 the clock struck 12 and or it struck, but then it didn't actually strike and then all the paintings came alive and now the snowman with armor downstairs. Oh, so many weird people. <laughs> Too much to handle. Gary, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> what? <laughs> I went down to go check down the downstairs and then all of a sudden, the <laughs> I, went down, I went down to check down the downstairs, <laughs> and uh, I heard the clock uh, strike the hour. And then I look at it, and the clock actually didn't strike the hour. But then all of a sudden, all the paintings came alive, and there was a bunch of snowmen that tried to attack me. So I ran up here, and they're probably after me right now. Oh, well, well, don't worry. I mean, we have Santa here. Obviously, he's going to know what to do. Santa, what You guys what do we hear do? a lot of just, like, wet slaughter <laughs> yeah. like, downstairs. It's yeah. Getting, it's getting close to the stairs. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do, Santa? Figure it out. We don't have our supervisor here. Well, they're talking. I'm going to walk up the wall and just <laughs> tighten up the ceiling with my grenade launcher. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll leave the room and survey the scene. Yeah, you'll look at the spire staircase and you can see roughly four snowmen that are trying to climb these stairs, but okay. they can't. Okay. They have the legs. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see four more that are kind of closing in right behind them. Do they look like they're attacking us? They look pretty hostile. Okay. Well, Santa... <laughs> What do we do? My bodyguards have gone rogue. We must destroy them. 
Rogue bodyguards don't stay no more! <laughs> I'll, I'll go down it. Well, not down all the stairs, but I'll launch my grenade launcher at them. Okay. Oh, you can launch your grenade launcher and... Honestly, hit all of them. Um, and then I'll have you guys enter an initiative right after that. Cool. Okay. Alright. So, do I have to roll to it? Uh... Yeah, like, are you going to be aiming it right at one, or do you just want to do a In around the center. Yeah, you yeah. just want to do a splash? Okay, yeah. I'll have him do a, a saving throw there. Okay. Um, what's your... I'm wondering what I should make your uh, DC. Intelligence. Uh, it's usually 8 plus proficiency plus one of your stats. So. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, I would make it. Okay, dope. Intelligence. So, just three. Uh, fourteen. Yeah, it's fourteen. Unless it's plus one because of my crafting. Two of them uh, succeed and six of them fail. Okay. Uh, that is ten damage. Plus, plus your plus one. Yeah. Okay. Or actually, uh, yeah, I guess it would just be plus. Because it wouldn't be plus my dexterity or anything, right? No. Okay, so nine then. Just that fire damage or bludgeoning? That is fire. fire. Okay. It, it does straight up fire unless you wanted to hit somebody with a projectile. Okay. I got a lot of health to keep track. <laughs> yeah, everyone roll initiative. I got 14. Got 6. I got 8. eight. 14. 14. Do I get any AC with a Santa suit? No. Okay. So you literally just have the plus one from your boots. Okay, so 10 plus X plus one. Okay, well, uh, snowmen go first. And seeing that as Our they... Snow women. Snowmen and the snow women and children too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Seeing as they only have one target to go for, uh, and they all have multi-attack, and the only attack they have is Snowball. You're going to be- Well, I mean, like, I'm on the stairs, so I'm not, like, right in with them. But you're li- literally the only one that you- they can see. Oh, okay. Because you're the one that peeked down the stairs and launched the fireball. Oh, okay. Fire grenade. And that- Like, are, are they, uh... Not resistant, but the opposite, uh... Vulnerable? Vulnerable to fire. I mean... You wouldn't know, but you can definitely tell that they took a big shot. Okay. Yeah, I was just asking, like, if that, if I assume that did double damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, what's your, uh, AC? 16. <laughs> There's eight of them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I must have down Okay, so, it's been one hit. I have to roll 16 times. <laughs> There's been one hit. Wait, is this damage? <laughs> no. Because the whole snowman had multi attack. Oh my god, Gage, you're gonna die. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is gonna be half the battle. <laughs> okay, actually. I was about to be snowman. There's been three hits. One is in that 20. <laughs> Dude, you're freaking done. <sighs> this time you need a first aid kit. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of lord. You said 15, right? 16. 16. Okay. You're also the defender. <laughs> so, hopefully that helps you a little bit. <laughs> And suspense. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. <laughs> Watch, he's like, 13 of them hit. <laughs> no, you later. Yeah, okay, like, smell you later. Yeah, I got it. Alright. <laughs> Seven of them hit. Oh, that's not bad. One's in that 20. One's in that 20. That's only half. <laughs> uh, none of you guys tried to pick up snow to use as a weapon, so you don't know the damage of a snowball. But it's literally 1d4. Oh, thank god. <laughs> For a snowball, it's a lot. That's like a dagger. <laughs> it's like getting seven daggers to the yeah. face. Luckily, you have a good chance of low damage. So. Yeah. 
<laughs> you just see me in. I'm just in a snowman now. <laughs> <laughs> Get pummeled with seven snowballs. So you would take twenty-three. Okay, that's not bad. Twenty-three pull damage. That would have put me down to one. That's just like the first round, though. <laughs> yeah. So immediately after you shoot your grenade launcher, you can see all these guys <laughs> <laughs> grab, grab some of their some of their snow and just hurl. Each of one of them. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> 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 so, so we can't see any of this. We just see him. It's like a fucking wall of snowballs come up and slam against you. This is sick. New plan. We <laughs> retreat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after the snowman, it would have been either uh, Barnabas or uh, Jerry. <laughs> Do I get a health boost with the snow Santa suit? You want me to go? God yeah, you go first. damn. Alright, uh so I can't see any of the snowman currently, right? No. Yeah, okay. Um and they can't as far as I know, they can't get up the stairs. No. Okay. Uh that's good. So really I don't need to do anything. <laughs> they can't get me. <laughs> and I mean, are you in the doorway? Yeah. Okay, so I... Well, you'd be, like, on the top of the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so... He's made my naughty list, threatening Santa. (laughs) So I'm just gonna get up behind him. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) And I'm gonna block the doorway. I'm gonna take my tricycle and point the flaming wheels outwards towards him. Dude, why don't you run over the flaming tricycle? I'm scared to go down there. <laughs> just got pelted with several <laughs> snowballs. Snow snow <laughs> battle to last hours. Hmm? This battle to last hours. I'm mm, you make my point. Alright, new plan of action. I'm gonna race my tricycle ass down there over them. <laughs> nice. Okay. We, we need to get downstairs because we need another KKK contract. Because so, somebody told me to burn them all. I'm gonna flame them. Why do we need another one? Go click the portal again. Maybe. Or maybe I don't it's know. because you took the suit. It's not. Maybe. I'm sure it's not. So, since you have, a, are you going to be flying down the stairs, or are you going to just fucking <laughs> down the stairs? or grind down the rail? <laughs> or grind down the rail. <laughs> I'm gonna grind down the rail. Okay. And go over them. Performance. Ooh, terrible at that. Ooh. Minus three. So, oh. <laughs> eight. <laughs> well, you managed to make it roughly halfway down before you kind of tilt too far to the one side. G force of the spiral staircase is tilting you to uh, fall off of it. And uh, you'll fall right on top of one of the snowmen. Flaming wheels. <laughs> yeah. So you'll actually take. Some damage from the fire and the fall. And now you're prone with uh, roughly eight snowmen kind of surrounding you. I'm in a big boo boo now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, you're you. Your <laughs> sacrifice will be removed. <laughs> Anything for Santa. Um, oh, I still have another attack, so but I'm out of movement, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you'd still be able to move. It's roughly only 10 feet. The oh, okay. Staircase. That's good. So that still leaves me with 20 feet. Um, and since I didn't fly, I guess I got that 10 foot of... Well, or is it 40 foot total? As far as I know, it's... Um, you can either do one or the other. Mm-hmm. Okay, fly. so I have 20 feet then left. All right, then I'll use uh, half of that to stand up, so I'm not prone. And I guess game on. <laughs> um, Born a bus. Am I just like surrounded by them? Yeah, you kind of. There was about four right next to the uh, bottom of the staircase, and four kind of like staggered right behind them. Mm-hmm. You fell on one that was kind of further to the left, so you're on the outside of the pack. Okay, good. Um, I still have 10 feet of movement speed, so I'm going to spider walk up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, I don't know if I could do that. Can I drop my anvil on them? Uh, yeah, if you want to do. 
I will do that. I will drop my anvil on them. Okay. Uh, do a uh, strength check for me. That's going to be enough to plow through on the summon. Uh, I... Oh, no. Nine. <laughs> Not using that one anymore. You got nine? Nine. Okay, so you magically summon this anvil on your backpack as you're upside down on the roof. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And... As you're preparing to drop out on this uh, snowman, that you're hitting the one that you hit before, that you fell on top of. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. As you prepare to drop this on him and just squish him, uh, you lose your confidence oh. in his strength, and the anvil pulls you down with it. Oh no. <laughs> so you fall down 10 feet. Oh, You'll take six bludgeoning damage from the fall. Good thing my armor class is. No, uh, but you six? do fully squish this snowman. Nice. Oh yes. hell yeah! Hell yeah, that Barnabas! Kind of <laughs> Dude, I got two anvils. Uh, Toss them off the banister. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, that's not yeah. terrible. We'll be here next. All right, so uh, I'm up at the room still. So if I go to the top of the staircase, am I able to drop those anvils on them? <laughs> you could drop it down the staircase, and it would tumble down and. Like kind of bowl through the guys at the bottom, but, but you don't have a direct line of shot on. Like just dropping it over. No. Really? It's it's literally just a spiral staircase going straight up. There's no mm-hmm. railing uh, with any spaces. Oh, uh, if there's no rail, wait, if there's no railing, then how did he? No, like I mean, oh, yeah, there's no space between the staircase and like uh, the top of it, so you can't really see down. It's literally just the staircase going. Onto the second floor. Mm. Oh no, I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of uh, describing it poorly. So it like comes up into the floor, the second floor. Yeah. And like we can't really see out except for like the hole into the staircase. Yeah. Okay. So you got the you got the handrail going the whole way up the uh, staircase uh, that you go down. Yeah. But there's no way to drop anything straight down. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. I gotcha. All right. Damn. Um, do you think I should roll one of those anvils down? Do you think it'll hit him? Like, would it knock him over? I don't know. I think we might just want to jump into the fray anyway. So maybe you'd go down the stairs and then chuck it and have a better chance. And then if I chuck one of the anvils, is that like a bonus action or is that an act full action? Um, I would consider it a full action. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe it's best off just to use my sword then. So I can do quite a bit of damage mm-hmm. with that bad boy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna run down there and then, like, if there's a snowman right at the bottom of the staircase, I'm gonna slash at him with my sword. Yeah, you can see there's a bunch of snowmen at the staircase. They're so, kind of bumping into the bottom step, trying to like, idiots manage their way up. Um, so that's only ten feet down, right? That I've moved. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to slash at him with my sword then, my tri-blade. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit. All right. Uh, 11. That does not hit. No. They are armored snowmen. <laughs> you do not manage to pierce the armor with your... Oh my god. No. Uh, I'm going to use the remaining amount of my movement to go up the staircase <laughs> a little bit around the corner. To hide from their line of fire. The only way to hide from the line of fire is to actually go up fully onto the second level. If you're on the staircase, you're going to get hit. Just drop prone. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, I'm going to stay. <laughs> My AC's high enough. They won't hit oh, me. fuck oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm confident. Okay. okay. So you're just going to sit there? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, which leads us to Bob. Yes, okay. Can I go onto the staircase? Command them. Jump off the railing into the fray? Uh, with the successful acrobatics. Yes. Do it. Okay. Yeah, you would go a couple feet down this uh, stairwell and then you jump over. Okay, I'm going to do Hold that. The railing. I'm going to take up my shish kebab and hold it over my head. And jump off the railing and slam it down onto a onto a snowman. Okay, that will count as your action. Yeah, and I'll be like, "This is for my wife." <laughs> <laughs> and 
13, 14 to hit. Yeah, yes. I still not believe oh, wait. The, the, you said That's that. That's the hit. I didn't. Not acrobatics. Dirty 20. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so, of our show. <laughs> dexterously <laughs> lift your heavy form over this railing and just plunge down on this snowman with just surprisingly uh, fluid movement. Yes. I'm a god. <laughs> It's the Santa suit, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Shish so kebab. Yeah, you hit with your 14. Oh, 15. Yeah. Uh, 1d12. Yeah. Plus 1d6 fire. Plus 2. That's that a d10, not a yeah. 12. Oops. Uh, 5 piercing or slashing. And 6 fire. And then plus 2. Because it's a plus 2 weapon. Uh, plus 1 because my strength. Whatever that is. Thirteen. Five piercing. Five piercing. Six, five fire. Five fire. And then plus three because plus two and plus one strength. So this snowman that you hit is still alive, but you can see that um, you plunge down on him, slide your blade through him, and it doesn't seem to do too much. But then you light your lighter on fire, and it just melts like a yes. of butter. Almost melting on the right around his sword. Amazing. Okay, so that leads us to Barnabas. Do I get the sense that there's somewhere Bomb. that I could launch a grenade that wouldn't hit these guys, but could still hit at least some snowmen? Okay, so these two are kind of close to each other, yep. and then he's at the foot of the stairs. Okay. So you could probably hit four or five. Without hitting these guys. Okay. Well, if you wanted, you can try and hit a snowman dead on, and then it would explode in him. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> Ooh. So you can aim for one of the back guys, and you can hit four of them if you actually hit your hit. Okay. Otherwise, it will explode behind them and probably hit about two of them. Okay. Uh, what's it plus? It would be your... It's a range of weapons, so I would say dex. Proficiency and dex? Yes. Okay, so... Oh, plus it's a plus one, so... Twelve? Twelve does not hit. Ah, oh, no! So, you aim for one of the guys in, in behind, and you nearly miss. It kind of bounces off of his armor. You didn't aim for the soft spot yep. on him. And it explodes against the wall behind them, uh, hitting two of them. It was 14 to save, right? Yeah, that's what we said. Yeah, 14. Yeah. So, nice. one's fine, the other is not. Uh, what, would, what do you roll for damage? Nine damage. Nine damage. And then I'm going to scurry up the stairs and out of view, because I'm not taking a bunch of no snowballs again. <laughs> yeah, so a bunch of them seem very wounded. Uh, none of them are quite dead yet, except for the one that he dropped the anvil on. Uh... There, there's a lot of just melted, well, there's a lot of water and snow just kind of littered around the whole floor as you guys are proceeding in your fight. And uh, now it's going to be the snowman's turn. Uh, seeing as you're right in front of them, mm -hmm. uh, the snowman that you attacked is going to try and engulf you inside of himself. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> So, I'm gonna suffocate again. <laughs> like fucking Eric. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm gonna need a deck save out of you. Eric suffocated? Yeah, it's so he doesn't agree. It, it was the one that you. Yeah. Missed. But, well, not really suffocated. No, I was taking damage. Just, he's taking damage oh, okay. from the pressure. Yeah, because okay. yeah, I don't. Yeah. yeah. He was getting crushed. Uh, uh, sorry, what was the saving throw? Dex. Uh, I was definitely uh, thinking of stealing all the paintings. <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't. It's 13. You don't save. You wish what? Dude, save. no! You needed a 14 to save. So, right, so really right after you bounce your dagger off of this armored snowman, <laughs> he opens up his breastplate, and he takes his two twig arms and just shoves you into him. You are now engulfed in this uh, snowman. Oh, God. You will take 2d6 cold damage each turn while engulfed. Uh, you can attempt another deck save on your next turn to try and grapple out. Right. Is that would that be that be my action then if I did that? 
Uh, our... Yeah. Oh, all right. <sighs> Not good, Jerry. <laughs> Have him roll a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you get high AC, I'll just fuck you with the AC. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna go. Uh, we, uh, <laughs> what does it matter? Okay, so um, he did that. So there's seven, no, six snowmen left. Just uh, tackle them over. They fall push into, them over. They fall into the one that you attacked is also gonna try and golf you. Okay. So deck save. Come at me, big boys. Ten. <laughs> <gasps> No! So, you slice straight through his breastplate, and that head dropped onto the ground. And seeing that he's almost dead, he takes you with his, <coughs> within his long, twiggy brown arms. Okay. Uh, and he hugs you very tightly as he shoves you into bed. This is actually kind of How big is the salmon? About like, medium size, like a normal human. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was going to say you're bigger, so they're like, just that. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, God probably like damn. normal human Yeah, size. I guess you're only like 5'4 or whatever. Throw yeah. 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 Chucky down. I'll have to do that you, next you time. You need Chucky in this battle, man. <laughs> okay. So, those three are engulfed. Uh, that's two of the snowmen. There's <laughs> four left. No, five left. Uh, and you're not really by one. So, let me see. And yeah, you me. ran up, didn't you? Yeah, I'm out of sight. So these two are engulfed. You're the only one that's left. <laughs> I just flattened one, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> the rest of these guys are going to whip snowballs out. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> uh, uh, okay, I like my chances, alright? <laughs> so there's five of them. What's your AC? 17. Oh, that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, you, you have a good chance. They can only hit you ten times. Whenever you pick up the pencil. <laughs> At least you know it's only 1d4. Yeah, I do have a strong amount of hit points as well. I can't handle a hit, man. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably the best thing that could have happened to me because I'm. You're gonna really probably resistant. take suffocation damage, though, right? No, it's fine. Because you won't be able to breathe. Yeah, you have resistance to cold, right? Yeah, this is the cold, but we'll see. We shall see how it goes down. I said five snowmen. I don't like the way you're laughing. None of them hit. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> easy money, boys. Wow. Fuck uh, yeah. Do you, you want to know how many fives I rolled? <laughs> <laughs> like, at least half. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Damn. So, you, you're kind of hiding behind your anvil with your arms still around it. And see, see these snow, the snowmen all turn towards you as you're the last target. In there. And they just start fucking whipping snowballs. You hide behind this anvil, coming in fear as snowballs just fucking peg the wall and the anvil are all around you. But you come out on skate. You bastards! I'll crush your friend! I'll crush you too! <laughs> okay, so a snowman went. Uh, burn it. Burn it. Do I know which ones, which snowman engulfed them? Yeah, you would have seen. Okay, so I know which ones don't have you guys in it. Uh, you hear a helpless little scream, <laughs> muffled scream. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to... Bob would be closest to you. Bob would be closest to you. I don't need help. I'm going to take my... Uh, Santa Claus. I'm going to pick up my anvil again. Uh, I'm going to go on my oh tricycle. God, you're going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> You realize if you fuck up dropping it, it's gonna go through one of us. You know what? You just don't fuck up, okay? I'm gonna go 10 feet up in the air, and I'm gonna pick the snowman that doesn't have these two idiots okay. in it, and I'm hey. just gonna. <laughs> I'm your boss. <laughs> okay, well, strength. Green. Yes! Oh, nice. 23. Okay. Yeah, you're more prepared for it this time, and you're on your tricycle, and you're not just hanging off the roof uh and you just kind of push it off to the side and let it drop and it takes a fucking massive chunk of this no man honestly yeah it would kill him holy fuck dude mm! two for two <laughs> there's the money yeah. all right no, that's I... just a snow pile does that come as a, a, an attack yes okay um so that means there's still one more uh, but I use my flying speed, so I can't move the tricycle anywhere. No. Uh, Hop off the tricycle. That's what I'm thinking. And your anvil is now on the ground. Your tricycle should fall. It should fall once I get off it, right? So, uh, 
Can I? Would I be able to? Would I be in a jumping distance to one of the other snowmen? Yeah, they're all in a pretty big group. All right, out comes the bat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I activate it's a shock ability. Shazam! <laughs> and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna jump off that tricycle and come on down and hurl it. Okay. On one of the snowmen. What? Not the thought has them in it. So much appreciated. Hold a hit. His seat. Don't need that much finesse I, to fall off the tricycle. I just imagine the uh, immigrant song playing for this. <laughs> <laughs> Money. All right. 22. Yes. Oh, yeah. All right. So that's. Uh, would you have wanted to aim for a healthier looking snowman or one that's like half melted? I'm going to go for a healthier looking snowman. Okay. And uh, this is 1d4 for shock as well. Yeah, well, it shocks crap, but uh, that's 9, 10, 11. That's 12 bludgeoning damage plus 1 shock damage, so 13 in total. You fall off your tricycle and you just bring down your full force in this bat right on top of your snowman. Oh, yeah. And you can see as his small head ball. Gets shoved into his medium head ball. <laughs> and his medium head ball gets shoved into his big head ball. And his, his large football. And all that's left is a breastplate around a giant ball. <laughs> oh, and, then, and then two tiny twigs. <laughs> you like destroy these guys like no problem. Actually, I, I try to fight one and get him gone. One twig. One twig. You broke one of his twigs. Nice. Oh my goodness. Dude, you are the anti snowman. <laughs> Barnabas, you're getting a raise. Okay. And that leaves uh, Jerry. Um, so you can attempt your uh, deck save. And that's my action? Yeah. This sucks. But I'm going to do that. Deck save. Here we go, baby. And be 14. Easy money. Oh, uh, 17, and then it's plus 5. So. Cool. Yeah. So, you managed to scrub your way out of this snowman. I Mario jump out. <laughs> like, you know, like, boom. Or not, I don't know. <laughs> Where I like, break out anyway. Yeah, you managed to break out of the snowman's uh, grasp, just sputtering out snow out of your mouth. And, uh, yeah, that's your turn. I'm gonna. I still have my movement, though. Yes. I'm gonna go to the top of the stairs. <laughs> You break out and immediately run out, run to the top. I just putting snow in my mouth. I'm like, ah, it tastes nothing like a snow cone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're just an annoying little rat. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Okay. So, be here. is my shish kebab still stuck in the snowman? Uh, no. No? Okay. In that case, I'm just gonna... Everything you wore and had on you would have been engulfed as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the only way out is the deck save. Okay, I'll just make the deck save then. And that's a 15. Yeah, you get out. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna grab my shish kebab that fell on the floor and run to the staircase going down. So you would be roughly 15 feet away from any summit. Okay. And that leads us to you. I'm just the oh, only one around the snowman. Would I be able to launch a grenade and throw Chucky? Uh, one is a bonus action. No, Ch- <laughs> Chucky's to your action. Chucky's a phone weapon. Okay, I'll just use my grenade launcher again. Okay. If you're not looking down the stairs... Uh, I'm looking down the okay. stairs now, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to aim away from uh, Barnabas. Yeah, he'd be the only one that's kind of in the line of fire right yeah. now. Uh, with a perfect shot on of somebody, you would hit. There's two that are dead. So six left. You would be able to hit five of them. Okay, yeah, I'll try that. What'd you get? Eight. <laughs> like these rolls, man. Feels bad, man. Okay, well, it explodes behind you. You did the same thing. Didn't quite hit the soft spot on this uh, snowman. He gets a nat twenty on his save. The other one gets a uh, 13. To be able to hit a third one, he gets 13. Both one those fails. Fail. Two fail. Yep, just four damage. 
And then I'm gonna just, like go out of sight again. <laughs> I'm the only one facing these beasts head on. <laughs> I tried. I'm going to go back after, but I got engulfed, and that was not fun. I took Man. 23 damage on one you turn. Did. You got a huge hit. My yeah. god. A lot of these snowmen are looking very worse for wear right now. <laughs> Most of them are, like, mostly melted. One's just a single ball with one twig. Um, Is he alive? Yeah. <laughs> just a single ball. <laughs> I hate this fight. <laughs> Uh, okay, it just brings us back to the snowman. Uh, is the one, the one that you hit. It's not big enough to engulf you. Uh, one of the other ones is going to scoot up and try and do that. So I'll do a, I'll need a dex save. God damn! I should put some points into dex. Oh, it's not terrible. Uh, that's thirteen. Oh, the save yet thirteen. Uh, you are engulfed. Easy money, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. God, shit. Which leaves us with another six snowmen that can do stuff. Um, they still protected for a little bit. You're the only one that's in sight. Oh, shit. 15 feet away. I'm so fucking legit dead. <laughs> we can go downstairs, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't even have your high AC anymore. You. I mean, it's only 15. Yeah. That isn't bad, but. So, the little ball. With one arm, is going to do his first attack. Okay. <laughs> his only attack is no longer has multi attack. Yeah. Uh, what's your AC? Fifteen. Uh, he yeah, it's a fourteen. Okay, which leaves us with another four snowman. Mm-hmm. Whenever he did something, so lots of eight attacks. <sighs> Santa. <Sad. laughs> No, Santa. If he dies, the portal might open back up. It's not me. <laughs> it's not because I took the suit. I promise. <laughs> I think it was because of the suit, dude. I don't think it was. I'm going to show y'all what's what. When you're dead. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to show you all what's what. Before the tax hit, one is in that 20. Oh! Oi! That's Mamma mia. <laughs> some tough stuff. Oh no! <laughs> I'll take 13 damage. Praise the Lord, I'm alive. You hear this is the cold, right? Yes. So you take 6 damage. Praise the Lord! Oh man. 18 health. Good thing you took that cold in this yes. <laughs> I knew it would be a good feat. Okay, that uh, brings us back around to Burnaby. Well, I guess I gotta get my way out of here. <laughs> So I have to make a deck save, right? Come on, big money! Oh, <laughs> nope, ten. Okay, you're still. Nope, involved. wait, that's four. Okay. <laughs> so <we're> still involved. <laughs> that was a nine. So three. And you can feel the cold gripping around you as you'll take four cold damage. Oh, that's nothing, baby. <laughs> awesome. So I'm gonna run back down and then slash that uh, snowman that attacked me. Yeah. And. Revenge. Get me out of here. So I'm gonna run down and give him the old swiper rooney. It's a natural one. But I do have lucky. It's <laughs> a good point, you rested. I had like it was like a quick oh, wait, moment I was like yeah. oh. I You still uh, me. That's thirteen. You still took play. <sighs> it's cute that you try. Bad rules. <laughs> I okay. grind back up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can do. So that brings us to Bob. Okay. You just got pelted in the face with a bunch of snowballs. Oh, now I'm mad. You're fucking used to it, though. Yeah. Wow. Um. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna whip out my shish kebab, and I do mean shish kebab, and I'm gonna charge at the the snowman that um. Had engulfed me. Try and take him down. Okay. Okay. 19, 21 to hit. Oh shit, that better not be the one that engulfed me. I don't know if that's the same one. Is it the same one? <laughs> you already did it, but... You could roll percentile dice. Gage! Stop. <laughs> Damn it, Gage! You should have died! <laughs> Above 50, yes. Below 50, no. Okay. Below 50, baby! 42. Good. I knew it. Okay. I always had faith. <laughs> Two 
plus 3, so 5 slashing damage, plus 4 fire damage. Yeah, so... Kill one. Yes! Nice. Yes. Sizzle. You slice and light up your fire at the same time, and this guy just falls down into a puddle of water as you slash through him. That's what happens when you make the naughty list. <laughs> uh, so, bomb down. Uh, so there are four left? There is five left. Five left, okay. One of them has, uh, Barnabas engulfed. Okay, I did not see him get engulfed. <laughs> no, because you're... And you ran are you, like, off. right at the bottom of the Well, seat? I just ran up and attacked one. kind of, like, by the corner. Stairs come down straight right here. All the snowmen are kind of, like, right, right here. Okay, I'm going to try to get here. as many snowmen as possible. Okay. Uh, so... I trust that. It would include the one that Barnabas is... I have no idea he's there. Engulfed. Okay. I've, I haven't How seen them engulf any of them. No, yeah, so yes. I don't even know if that's something they can do. Uh, so is that an attack roll, or... If you wanted to hit one directly and hit them all... Yeah, yeah. okay. Attack roll. Oh, that's Jeez. pretty good. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Of course that's when you yeah. hit. <laughs> 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 so, as... Uh, you hit this guy square, square straight in the abdomen, right below the uh, armor that he has. Um, they'll do 1d4 bludgeoning as it sticks into him. It explodes with 1d12 fire. Okay, so it's a 4 for the bludgeoning. Okay. And a 12 for the mm. <laughs> fire. That's okay. gnarly damage. <laughs> so, um... You would kill all of them except for two. Sweet. <laughs> nice. Which I'll roll a potential die to see if you were killing those two. So, like before, 50 and above for yes, 15 below for none below for no. 47. I believe right. in Santa. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are still alive, and one of the snowmen that are still alive. Hey. And you can kind of see parts of him sticking out. Oh, I'm trying snowman. to like, fight my way out. <laughs> as most of the snowman is uh, melted away. And would he have taken any of the damage from that? Probably not because he was engulfed. No, yeah, he was engulfed. Take. Uh, which leads us back to the snowman. Um, if you would be the closest person, one of them is already engulfed, so okay. they're just going to throw snowballs at you. Okay. Which. Both of them can only do one attack. Nice. I will survive. Uh, one of them hits with four damage. And is that halves? Yes. Fucking weaklings. Which brings us back around to Barnabas. Alright. <laughs> Freedom! Uh, you're gonna have advantage on your deck save because this snowman is literally like falling apart on you. Uh, 15. Yep, yeah, you get out. Oh, mama! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn around and swing, swing my bat right across him. Your one action was, was getting out. Oh, and I guess I didn't attack. That's yeah. Right. Okay, never mind. It's multi-attack only. Yeah. Applies through. if you attack. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, I'll just chill out. <laughs> I'll take a minute to breathe. So yes. sir. I'm gonna run down chill the stairs. Out. You know, third time is the charm. So I'm gonna run up to um. That's that one. Someone was by the staircase. Was he the one that survived, or was he one of them that died? He was one of them that died. The one that yeah. tried to attack. Yeah. Yeah, he was one of them that died. Sick. Hate him anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna attack the closest one that's alive. Okay. And say, "Screw you, snowman." A dirty twenty. Yeah, that hits. Yes. All right. Now I feel like there's no way you can not kill this guy. Should I still roll for damage? Yeah. Uh, it's so 1d8 plus, plus 2 for strength plus 1 for the build and Actually, plus no. 1 yeah yeah you can definitely kill that takes all the fun you can still roll for damage if you want Tony no I'm just going to take my my sword and again um, as ungraceful as possible I just take it and I swing her through the middle section of the snowman yeah you slice the snowman in half and he'll uh because of how quickly you do it, you don't even know that you did it <laughs> until you like go for a second swing, and he kind of just 
falls apart. Nice. That's some samurai shit right there. Yeah, it's like, whooshing, <laughs> you know, and they yeah, like, yeah. slowly fall. Yeah. Quick draw. Okay. Which brings us to... Oh. How many are left? One. One, dude. I'm gonna fucking charge him. <laughs> Tack him over. Man, is it the one weak. that's just like a big ball with an arm sticking out, or is it just a normal one? I think that one died. Yeah, that one did die. Oh, damn it. I was gonna throw him down the stairs and watch him roll away. <laughs> 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 okay, that's fine. I'll just attack the one that's left, and I got a 21 to hit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's dead as well. Okay. Mm. Uh, 12, 13. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He dead. They had to be held up. Sick. <laughs> so you guys are left in the remnants of water and half melted snow. Okay. Uh, Amazing. I think we're going Amazing. to end the uh, episode here. Yeah, probably a good call. Uh, thanks for joining us at that 20. You're welcome. See you on the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Is it home time? Yeah.